Hello, my name is Christoph Allen from Advanced Tracking and today I'm going to explain uh, how to change the uh, AAA lithium batteries that are inside a Smart One C tracking unit. You have four lithium batteries inside. So the first step is to unscrew uh, the four screws that you have here that where the device is fixed on. Most of the time this is fixed to the boat. You will need for this uh, a crosshead screwdriver and you just start unscrewing them. This is the first step. Once you have unscrewed the four screws, you take off the device and then you need to open the front of the device. You have two small screws and you need another screwdriver, also a cross head screwdriver, but a smaller one. And you need to open this. Once this is open, you take off the little small protection here, you take it off. And inside you have a small button, an on off button. It's important to turn off the device before you change the lithium batteries. It's a very important step. So you go inside here and you have this small button that you just put on off. Tack, you will hear it or feel it and you have turned off the device. It may be possible that your Smart One C device is powered up by the 12 volt on board, so you will have this type of cable. In this case, you just need to take off and unplug the 12 volts from the device. And once it's unplugged, you have exactly the same to do than I showed you before. You need to turn off the device. Once you have turned off the device, you need to open the unit to be able to change the lithium batteries that are inside. So you have once again four screws to unscrew. Here we go. Once you have unscrewed them, you just open the unit and inside you will see the four lithium AAA batteries. You just take them out to replace them. Once you have taken out the four lithium batteries, you're going, you are going to place new ones inside. You need to be careful. You have a joint here around the device to make sure it's well, it's, it's okay. And you have here two contacts. You need to be very careful that they are remaining there. You can always put them back if necessary. So we will put the lithium batteries inside. The new ones and once they are inside you need to close the device put the device back on the other side you have two contacts here two here just make sure that they are put placed back on the back on the correct side close the device properly make sure everything's okay with the joint and just screw back the screws Once I've put back the four screws, now I can turn back on the unit. So same step as before, but now I'm turning it on. Tack, you hear a small click. Now my device is back on on. If it's powered up by a 12 volt, I just put the 12 volt cable back onto it. And otherwise I will close the device now. Put up that small protection. Make sure that the joint is here inside here. Don't forget, make sure it is there. It's very important to make the device waterproof. And we are going to close it. Once it's closed, you just put back the device on its support that's fixed to the boat. And you are once again screwing it back with four screws. Screws are back, unit is back on, back on board, ready to work, should be all fine. You see it's quite easy. So many thanks for your attention and if you need any assistance you can always call us at the office. 
at plus three three four nine four two three one five five one or you can send us an email to commercial at advanced hyphen tracking dot com. Thank you. Thank you.